Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala abdika wa rasulik wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa salama taslima kathira. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Just wanted to make this quick tutorial video in order uh, for you to be able to kind of navigate through the Injaz application uh, stress free. And because uh, I mean, in the for me while I was doing this, it was really, really frustrating, and then I kept on getting a bunch of errors, whether it be in the image process or paying or whatnot. And uh, inshallah, this tutorial will help you guys out. I mean, you're you're kind of forced to either figure it out yourself or go to uh, passport services that pay that want you to pay uh, in the range between three hundred seventy to four hundred twenty dollars, and that's a complete ripoff. Uh, so. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'll put the steps in the description below. Uh, so, I mean, if you don't want to watch however long this video is and you just kind of want a quick step-by-step -step thing, I'll put that in the description, inshallah. So uh, let's get started. Individuals, uh, application for visa from Saudi missions abroad. Agree, agree. So what we're gonna need to do first is find uh, to resize our image, obviously, I mean, because they have some ridiculous uh, size restrictions, so I mean, we can't really do anything about it. So you're just gonna have to go with the flow. So we're gonna select our standard image. Um, okay, so this one, since it's 476 kilobytes, so we're gonna open it up, um, and it doesn't work. So what we need to do is uh, let me refresh this. What we need to do is upload an image. Cute little cat, the 476 uh, kilobytes. I'm gonna open it up. Okay, so it's gonna show up. So we're gonna obviously do upload an image. We're gonna skip this one, crop your image, because we don't need to. We're gonna skip rotate your image. We're going to utilize the resize your image tool. So what we need to do is first off, we're gonna uncheck this box, and then we're going to resize it to 200 by 200 pixels just as it says in the uh, requirements. So we're set on that. Uh, so we're gonna skip five, make uh, background transparent. We're gonna skip six, obviously, but I mean, standard is JPEG, so unless it's not JPEG and you need it to be JPEG, then you skip this. We're gonna go to seven. So we're going to need to click on normal compression because the size of the image is in the 400s. So we're gonna click on normal compression and you're not gonna need to sacrifice that much quality, probably like one or 2%. So let's just try 98% image quality. And we're gonna get 17.4 kilobytes, which falls underneath the maximum of 18. So we're good to go on that. So we're gonna download the image, show in folder, copy, just so it's easier to uh, access. Where is it? Okie dokie. So then we're gonna go back to Injaz. I'm gonna click select image. Where is it? There it is, okay, open. There we go. So we're good to go on that button. So afterwards you just fill out the application. Uh, if you're filling it out from the United States, you're not gonna need to fill out this one or Arabic any of the Arabic uh, lines. I mean, if you want to, you can, but it's not required. Um, similarly, you I don't think you need to put the grandfather name or your father's name if it doesn't show up on your United States passport. But it, um, even if it does, even if it doesn't, I mean, I mean, I think it's probably cool to fill it out. I filled it out, but to each his own, I guess. So again, ID number, you don't need to fill out or need to worry about if you're um, if you have a US passport, because we don't have an ID number on a US passport, we just have a passport number. So then we go here. I mean, everything here is pretty straightforward. Maybe sort occupations, what you do for a living, whether you're a civil engineer, a mechanic or professor, teacher, whatever. Uh, source of degree, where you got your degree from. So just state your university name, if you got it from there. Uh, qualification, bachelor's, a master's, PhD, home address. It's obviously your home address. Visa type is uh, you're gonna need this document, which you probably know about if you're on Injaz. So this is uh, kinda, yeah, I mean, I don't really know what it's called, but you're supposed to have this. So you get, so for instance, the visa type, for my case, it was uh, family visit. Um, the document number is just the uh, visa number right here. So you're gonna find it right there. That should be your visa number. 
and the uh, Saudi mission in is right here located in this area so Saudi mission Los Angeles and you fill that out so Saudi mission Los Angeles sponsor name that's also going to be on this document it's going to be the name right here and the address so name address and ID number of that individual your relative which has a Saudi citizenship and uh, phone number place their phone number port of entry for my case it was Jeddah for your case it may be different uh, and then all this stuff you just click the first one that shows up I mean as you populate this uh, this application once you click on this arrow it's just going to show one one option it's not going to show two and similar here it's going to it may show 90 may show something different but it should only put show one one option and obviously you can uh, let me see here so yeah uh, yeah it should for me it only showed one option but for you it may not it, it doesn't really matter um, but yeah so you fill out the image code and you click save so once you click save if everything is good which I mean every, everything but the image is probably going to be the only problem that you face everything else is just kind of writing it off of the the information that you have all right so afterwards you're going to come up to you're going to see a screen like this so so this screen basically just kind of gives you information as to how much you need to pay and it provides you a field to fill out your payment information so the trick here is for instance whatever bank you have you need to go to that bank web bank's website if you have an account with them obviously you log on and then you go to the for instance for my for my account I have Bank of America so I go to their feature which lets me set a travel notice so the travel notice is uh, set so that when a charge happens from Saudi Arabia your your card doesn't like automatically reject it so if you're sitting in the United States and they see a charge from the uh, Saudi Arabia they're gonna be like oh uh, we're not gonna accept this so they just automatically reject it so you, you get an error field so what I did I was filling out this application Sunday night and I set a travel notice that I was gonna be in Saudi Arabia Monday through like Thursday and I filled out the application on Tuesday and it worked so but whereas when I was just filling it out without a travel notice and I was filling it out on Sunday, it just kept on giving me error notice after error notice while I was trying to pay. So once you set the travel notice with which whatever, I mean, I'm sure every single bank has this feature to set a travel notice. And if not, then you can just call your card uh, company and then authorize a charge from Saudi Arabia and you should be good to go. So that's the only trick. Like, so if you're experiencing any errors with uh, payment, that's why. And so like all these uh, travel companies that charge you like $470 for, uh, or $420 for, to, fill this fill, to fill this application out for you, they think that like we're stupid and we can't figure that all you need to do is authorize a, your card to, to have a charge that's in Saudi Arabia. But uh, yeah, so inshallah this works out for you guys. So after you fill out your information and you click on the pay button, you're going to see this screen it's just basically an authorization uh, mechanism. It's going to send it to your bank. And so, inshallah, you guys will come up with this field afterwards. So, your application fee is paid for. Now, you obviously have to pay for the visa fee, which is $107, which is not really, which is a bit of, it's quite a bit of money. But, uh, inshallah, it's worth it. Um, so, yeah. So, you go through the same process, fill out your information. And I click next. You're going to see the same thing. And then afterwards, you're you're done. So what you need to do at, at this point is either screenshot it like I did, which I would recommend because it's easier, or just manually record uh, the application number, transaction number, and receipt number. So what you can do with this information is, so we go here, let's check out the Injaz website. Let's go over here. So what you can do here is kind of verify that your application went through and to see like to see how it looks. So you go searching for applied application, which you just did, inshallah. You click on the application number, which you recorded on this, this screen. Where is it? Uh, I think, oh, there we go. Okay, so application number right there. Then you click on, you write in your passport number, image code, and you click search, and your application should be 
shown below. So um, yeah, inshallah this helps you out. And uh, if it does, please keep me and my family in your dua and the all of the suffering Muslims worldwide, inshallah ta'ala. Okay, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.